It makes for the best thumbnails. So yeah? yeah. So ready? Go ahead. You guys are good? Yeah. Well, Dustin, of course you got the hot sauce going right now. I'm curious, are you going to ever make a version that's as hot or hotter than the bomb? Now, the bomb is something very serious. We came out with the KO edition. We put some, uh, some hotter peppers in there, but... We got a little bit of ghost pepper in there, but the bomb is, I don't even, I think that's pure extract. I don't even know what that is. I, I haven't looked at the ingredients, but that stuff's, that's like a gag gift. Right. I want something you can, if you, if you want heat, you can enjoy it. Definitely. And we're here at the Hall of Fame right now, but it's UFC 266 fight week. Nick Diaz is back, and you know, he's had some interesting comments about you maybe not enjoying fighting. And you know, you've said kind of similar things. I just told Brett that, like, I saw, I, I watched the interview this morning. And uh, and I feel the same way about a lot of things Nick says. I, I um, he articulates a lot of feelings fighters have. Some, I mean, I, I can relate. I don't know if every fighter can, but a lot of things he says, I know exactly what he means. Um, I'm happy to see him fight again. But Robbie's a good friend of mine. Been working with Robbie and I've known Robbie for a while now. But I'm, I'm happy to see one of the legends like Nick back. It's been a long layoff, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But he, he's man. Do you think there's any limit to the time that a fighter can come back because he was still away for quite a while? I think it depends on what he was doing in that time. Um, if he was in the gym every day, helping guys around martial arts, it might not be a big deal. We'll see. Time will tell. We've got a couple days. You know, in the Hall of Fame, like I said, being here is a big deal. I want to be here someday and actually be an Of course. You know, I've shed enough blood and I plan on shedding more. So hopefully one day at the end of this, uh, I'm, uh, you know, recognized for the fights that I put on, the wars that I put on, and uh, we'll see. You know, what's next for you? I know everyone's already asking about Oliveira, but, you know, it's in the works, but is it done? Where are we at? Right? No, we're not done yet, but we're close. I think we're going to deal done real soon, and I plan on fighting here in December. All right, cool. Um, you know, would your career be complete if you, let's say, didn't have, like, a title fight in Louisiana? Would that be a fucking kind of thing? If the fight didn't happen in Louisiana, I mean, I would love to add that, you know, I've only got to fight with the UFC one time in Louisiana when I fought Yancy Madero at the Studio King Center, you know, maybe 2015 or 16. Uh, it was a great, to, you know, to see everybody in the stands who can't fly out and get hotels, you know, they can just drive up. It's great to see, you know, I saw a lot more familiar faces there, but uh, I would love that. Is that something you've got for you, like Dana, you know, it's again? Well, one step at a time, I gotta get that strap first, and maybe, then maybe I can call some shots. Of course, of course. You know, another very big lightweight fight coming up with uh, Justin Gagey, someone you've been in there with, and Michael Chandler. It's guaranteed to be exciting, right? But what are your thoughts on that one? Who's I'm buying that pay per view for sure. Uh, I kind of lean towards Gagey, you know, especially if Chandler follows through with what he's saying and walks forward and throws caution to the wind and puts himself out there to be, you know, in a firefight with a guy like that. It's dangerous, man. I think you gotta be a technician when you fight a guy. When you fight a wrecking ball like that, you gotta be a matador. So we'll see what happens, but I know it's gonna be exciting, whatever does happen. Have you taken any comments from Chandler's fight with Oliveira? And you know, just thinking about the Oliveira. Uh, you know, that was kind of a quick fight, but we'll see. I haven't got uh, to training camp yet. I'm going in the beginning of October, and then I'll get with my coaches. We'll start breaking down film, but. Yeah, it was a good fight, you know, while it lasted. I'm good. Can I Dustin, when they say the other fighters got the juice, but they don't got the right sauce, like Dustin Poirier, what's your response to that? The sauce